Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show how to perform the DC annotations of a MOS transistor using Cadence Virtuoso. For the demonstration purpose, I have considered a simple inverter circuit with PMOS and NMOS. The applied VDD is 1 volt. Input is a DC of 1 volt. Once the circuit design is completed, check and save the design. Then go to launch. Use ADL, XL, or GXL. Any of this. Right now, I am using ADL. Right click to choose the analysis, select DC, this is what we are targeting for to see the DC operating point. Enable this, need not select any input or output, just click netlist and run. Simulation is done. I want to see the DC operating point parameters of each transistor. So for that, you can use this option, annotate, which is available here. And the options are, use the DC operating points. So these are the operating points of each and every device that is available in this. You can disable it by going to component parameter or just right click in this workspace. You have annotations here. Select DC operating point. It has a drain current of minus 2.9 picoamperes, VGS parameter, VDS, transconductance. Similarly, the current that is drawn is given here as minus 3.466 pico. So let me go back, right click, annotations, click on component parameters. You can invoke this in many ways. Another way is go to view. Annotations. DC operating point. You have this. Component parameter. And another option is I want to check or add some more parameters here like right click annotations DC operating point right now this transistor has only four parameters and this transistor has four parameters but I want to check other parameters as well so for that you can go to component parameters first Check and save the design. Go to the results. You can use the option from here. Any of this will work. But I want to have all the parameters. So select print. Then DC operating point. It opens a result display window then you select this transistor it is a instance of PM0 PM0 so all the parameters like beta effective and transconductance drain current 
followed by region of the transistor that it is operating in right now this pmos in region 0 which indicates it is in a off state on resistance as well as threshold voltage of this transistors to get the dc operating point printed select the nmos now it has both here see the operating point of nm0 this is nm0 transistor we have beta effective all the parameters like gm id followed by region right now nmos is in linear region and the threshold voltage which is 0 0.6 volts so this is one method suppose if you want to add some more parameters to this right now i am having only four parameters but i want to include more number of parameters to this transistor or this transistor select this transistor first then press shift e on the keyboard to des descend into the symbol click on ok right now there are seven parameters or you can add a number of parameters like if i want to add more parameters just press c select that and place the parameter you can double click on it to edit the eighth parameter and in a similar manner you can add one more double click on it to add the ninth parameter here check and save the design press ctrl e to come out of that mode check and save the design now to list all the parameters which are 9 in total right click let me simulate it first once just right click annotations setup From this GPDK library, I want to see PMOS. These are the added ones. In total, I have added 9. Earlier, there were only up to 4. I want to add R on, on resistance. Apply. You can see R on is added. I want to add region you can click here and you can find the region of pmos vth of this transistor apply so you can find the vth in this way you can add n number of parameters and find all the operating points of a transistor either PMOS and NMOS.